Hey, g'day, this is Temujin from SL Colonies. Today I'm going to run you through the large uh, farm fields uh, which are available for farmers and peasants to use in their role play environments. These are large uh, plots. We will be having um, smaller plots, uh, small garden plots, which are you know, used for gardening, and we'll have pot plants as well for, for the hobbyist. Um, these will be more for the larger environments like wheat, uh, potato fields, maybe corn, um, sugar cane, which are used in alcohols and uh, food. There are only four prims. There are five stages um, needed to get a field going, so you'll need to plough a field to make it look um, usable. Um, you'll then need to plant your selected seeds, and you'll need to water it. Then it will grow, and you'll be able to harvest it. So. Let's start here. You do need a plow to start plowing, so if I just click it without anything on me, it'll check for the appropriate tool and tell me not available, not able to do it. So let's pull out a plow, which you can get from a carpenter. And now if I click it, it will start the um, plowing process. There is an animation process and there is a timer here. And as it goes on, the um, topsoil will slowly um, disappear and reveal the bottom layer of the ploughed field, so you know that it's already been ploughed. Let's have a look at the difference between the other fields here, so you can see. Alright, so that's the ploughing. The next step is going to be selecting what seed you would like to put in this field. So depending on what seed you do put in, um, will oh, I'm pretty strong one hand lifting up this plough here. So depending on what seed you do end up putting in here will depend on what uh, plant um, comes out from this field. So you do need a seed bag which is made in a basket weaving station. Now we're using a seed bag because um, it's a tool that allows for the animations basically and it will also pull the seed from your inventory so you can see I'm holding a, f move. Holding a seed bag here, you can't really see it left click on the field again now you select here which you would like to use um, now currently I only have wheat seeds but if I had say potato, corn, um, sugar, s sugar ca cane seeds I'd be able to select it right now we only have wheat seeds selected it and it starts seeding. And the final step before you're able to harvest is watering, so you water the field. You need a clay jar out. Again, my hands are in my clothes so you can't see the clay jar. You need a clay jar and um, water in your inventory um, to start watering. It's all a manual process, we haven't got automated machinery that um, waters everything for you unfortunately or fortunately, depending which way you look at it. Um, the next step is the growing. Um, currently I've sped it up for the purposes of this video, so it's going to grow really fast. and You'll be able to see the process on this video, otherwise you'd have to wait um, numerous days for the field to get to full maturity. Start to grow now.
Now the next step is obviously harvesting. Anyone can come over and harvest if they've got a sickle on them. So you'll need to uh, look after your field. Um, you can harvest up to 10 times and you'll get, um, you need small baskets in your inventory and you'll get up to uh, 10 baskets of wheat pretty much. So if I grab my sickle and then you can begin to harvest. So right now I've just set it to four, but once you've harvested it all, um, it'll go back to um, original uh, topsoil, will come back on, everything will reset, and you'll start all over. Decide what seed you wish to plant again, and so on. Um, just get the last couple so you can see it reset. One more time after this. And there we go, I've har harvested it all and it should reset. So again, depending on what seed you initially plant into the field. So tell me I've got one more. Okay. Um, again, depending on what um, seed you plant into the field will uh, determine what texture and what um, end product you'll be able to harvest. So that's it. Um, as you can see, they're large fields. You can put a certain amount on your sim. Um, we made them this large to try and stop mass farming. Um, as we're doing with a lot of the products on here, um, our target is that. So anyway, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.